Well, a growing number of vaccinated people are dying from COVID-19, but data shows booster shots can lower the risk. So here with us, our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. Uh, Doc, has this gap, this gap seems between severe disease and death, it, it seemed to be wide. Is that narrowing? Is Omicron kind of a big factor in that? And we were just talking about this before we got on the air, right? And, and Omicron's highly transmissible variants are part of the reason, but the waning vaccine protection is also contributing to higher deaths for those who are fully vaccinated. Now, federal data shows that during the height of the Delta wave, right, almost 19% of COVID-19 deaths were among the vaccinated. That number jumped to 40% in February when cases were surging because of Omicron. Now, this does not mean that our vaccines are not working. It's very important to know that they have saved millions of lives and continue to do so. It's still the unvaccinated that continue to have the highest risk of severe illness and death than those who are fully vaccinated. In fact, the unvaccinated risk of death is about five times higher. All right. So with this new data, uh, is the most at risk age groups. Does that remain the same? Yeah, that's an important question, right? So yes, our older population continues to be most at risk. About three quarters, Brian, of deaths have this year have been seniors. They were the first in line to get COVID-19 vaccines. And many people now are a year out, right, from getting the first shot. But boosters can add protection. Data tells us this, that people who are only fully vaccinated had a three times greater risk of death from COVID than folks who got their booster shot. Important to hear that. So all adults age 18 and up really should get a booster dose. I did. And all Americans age 50 and up and those who are immunocompromised over the age of 12 should get a second booster dose, especially since numbers are going up nationwide as well as here in Michigan. According to CDC, Metro Detroit has moved from low risk to medium risk. That means cases are up and so are hospitalizations. That's are not up yet, but they typically do what? They follow that, that whole rate. And that's most likely due to the more transmissible subvariant BA2. It makes up about three fifths of cases and its sublineage BA212.1 makes up about 30% of new cases in the U.S. So please, once again, I will remind you, please, 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 to get fully vaccinated and get boosted and then get a second booster if you're eligible. This is the only way we get past it. We can't pretend like this thing is going to go away if we close our eyes. It seems like we've all seen this film before with these rising cases. But we know got, what to do. But like you said before, when we talked about this, we've got the tools now to be able to do more. You've got the knowledge, so let's act on it. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you as always. My Appreciate pleasure. your time and expertise. Of thank you. Well, if you all have a coronavirus question for the doctor, you can email him, drnandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.